You say you're a night owl, but here's the truth. You're not nocturnal. You're neurochemically delayed. You trained your brain to believe darkness equals dopamine, and now your biology is just following orders. But what if I told you? You could reprogram your body's sleep-wake code using circadian neuroscience, dopamine resets, and environmental hacking, and wake up early without feeling like a zombie. Let's break your night owl code, once and for all. The truth. Night owl is a software bug, not a personality. Your sleep rhythm is controlled by your suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN, a cluster of neurons in your hypothalamus that syncs your body clock to light. When you stare at blue light past 11 p.m., the SCN misreads it as daytime. Melatonin, your sleep hormone, gets delayed. Cortisol, your alert hormone, spikes late. Result, you're tired in the morning, wired at night, and stuck in a biological time lag. You're not lazy. You're running your system in the wrong time zone. Let's reset that system. Step 1. The Biological Jet Lag Reset Think of this like shifting from New York to Tokyo, but without the plane ticket. Here's the gradual rewiring protocol. 1. Microphase shifting, 15 to 20 minutes per day. Move your sleep and wake times 15 to 20 minutes earlier, every 2 to 3 days. Why it works? Your circadian rhythm adapts slowly to light cues and temperature cycles. This gradual shift prevents your cortisol melatonin timing from crashing. 2. Light reprogramming. Your eyes are the steering wheel of your body clock. 10 minutes of natural sunlight within 10 minutes of waking, even cloudy works. Zero bright light exposure one hour before bed. If you must use screens, install F-Lux or Night Shift and wear amber glasses. 3. Temperature sinking. Your body cools down to trigger sleep and warms up to wake. So, warm shower, cool room, 22 degrees Celsius, 71 degrees Fahrenheit before bed. Cold splash or movement upon waking. This thermal contrast reinforces your circadian anchors. Step 2. Reset your nighttime neurochemistry. Night owls have a dopamine-melatonin collision. When dopamine stays high, melatonin never gets to lead. Here's how to lower stimulation and signal your brain. It's shutdown time. Dopamine cutoff DCO. 90 minutes before sleep. No screens, no heavy discussions, no emotional content. Your brain's reward system, nucleus accumbens, needs silence. Substitution ritual. Replace scrolling time with low dopamine triggers. Reading fiction, not nonfiction. Soft instrumental music. Journaling gratitude rewires serotonin balance. Stretching in dim light. Magnesium, glycine, or L-theanine. Optional but powerful. These lower neural excitability and calm the nervous system naturally. Disclaimer at the end covers supplement advice, of course. Step 3. Morning System Reboot Cortisol Control You don't wake up tired because you slept late. You wake up tired because your cortisol spike, the hormone that wakes you up, is mistimed. We fix that by front-loading activation in the first five minutes. 1. The three-second rule. Alarm rings, count three, two, one, stand. Instant movement equals pattern interrupt before comfort hijacks your brain. Two, light before sight. Get sunlight or a daylight lamp into your eyes immediately. This resets cortisol rhythm and suppresses leftover melatonin. Three, cold activation, two minute trick. Cold water equals adrenaline spike, dopamine rebound, alertness. You can do face splash, cold shower, ice cubes if you're dramatic. 4. Hydrate plus salt. Your body loses electrolytes overnight. A pinch of salt plus water instantly stabilizes blood pressure and alertness. 5. Movement priming. 30 to 60 seconds of light movement. Why? It activates orexin neurons, the brain's wake-up engine. No gym needed, just motion. Step 4. Anchor your new identity loop. You can't just change habits. 
you have to change your self-concept because your brain listens to your identity narrative more than your alarm clock. Morning Mantra Upgrade I don't wake up early to be productive. I wake up early because I'm not who I used to be. Micro Win Tracking Every morning you win equals market. Even three out of seven days means progress. Perfection kills consistency. Habit Pairing Link Early wake-ups with dopamine-neutral rewards. Sunrise Playlist Favorite breakfast. Journaling with coffee. This makes mornings emotionally rewarding. The don't break the chain. Wall. Visualize your streak. Each check mark equals proof that you're rewiring time itself. Step 5. Night owl. Early riser. Transformation plan. 30 days. Week 1. Move bedtime. 15 minutes earlier daily. Eliminate blue light one hour before bed. Wake up at the same time, even weekends. Week 2. Add morning sunlight exposure. Cold activation routine. Morning water plus salt ritual. Week 3. Insert PM wind-down routine. Fiction stretch journaling. Remove late dopamine triggers. Reward early wake-ups with positive reinforcement. Week 4. Reinforce identity shift. I am an early builder. Sleep quality optimization, five full 90-minute cycles. Keep streak visible. Celebrate, don't reset. You're not forcing yourself to wake up early. You're reprogramming your biology to want it. Step six, when you fail, reset, don't restart. Failure doesn't break the loop. Quitting does. If you oversleep, don't shame yourself. Just run a reset day. Wake up late but still expose yourself to morning sunlight. Skip caffeine after 2 p.m. Sleep 15 minutes earlier that night. You're not losing. You're recalibrating. Final message. You don't have to fight mornings. You just have to lead your biology. The early riser isn't a gifted person. They're a trained system. So stop saying, I'm not a morning person. Say, I'm a reprogrammed human who controls time. Because when you win your mornings, you stop chasing the day and start commanding it. Comment below. What time are you waking up tomorrow? Drop it. Make it public. Make it real. And if you're done losing nights to dopamine, subscribe. We're building the kind of discipline that even biology respects.